I'm Ted Berg and welcome to the Mets Minor League Report. Signed as a non-drafted free agent at 17, outfielder Juan Lagares took five years to make a splash in the Mets system. Then, in 2011, Lagares led single-A St. Lucie with a 338 batting average and earned a promotion to Binghamton. Lagares improved at double-A, where he hit 370. Lagares looked to carry that momentum into the 2012 season at Binghamton, but after a disappointing April, the 23-year-old couldn't find those consistent results and finished the year with a 283 batting average. BMET's manager Pedro Lopez wasn't phased by Lagares' struggles. You know, last year was uh, one of those years that, you know, it was a Cinderella story, you know, to, uh, to say. And uh, everything that he hit last year, he put it in play. Everything was a hit, a double, you know, a triple or a home run. So uh, I think the uh, biggest thing, I think his uh, uh, ex expectations each, uh, for him this year, they were so high, it, it was almost in, uh, unreachable. And uh, so he struggled with that. But I'll tell you what, he, he's done a great job. Uh, even though he started, you know, he got off to a slow start, he's uh, doing a much better, a better job of slate. In the beginning of the season, that's what I do. I try to, to, to do like too much, you know, and it's why I, I don't do like a good job. And I said that, I figured it out, and I, I try to be more patient and, and be more select. Patience became a priority for the right-handed hitting Ligaris, and although his walk total did improve, his productivity fell off. Last season he came up here, he was hitting 370 in this time that he was at double A right off the bat. So you come back this season and obviously expect a lot. Um, the thing that he did was he tried to be more patient, uh, take more pitches, not swing as, ma as many bad pitches because it seemed like last season he could swing at anything and it was dropping in for a hit. I mean, he hit almost 400 when you first get to double A. I mean, I'm not going to say that he's, he's still not, you know, that he doesn't swing at uh, pitches out of the strike zone. He's, he still does, and who doesn't, even at the uh, big league level. But uh, uh, from what I saw last year in 2010, my first year, what I had him, you know, he, he's done a better job uh, trying to lay off those uh, marginal pitches. While Lagares has shown some prowess at the plate, his glove has most impressed his manager. I honestly got to say that he's probably the best uh, uh, center fielder right now in the league. And uh, not only he gets uh, good jumps and routes, but he's also got a, a plus arm with accuracy. So uh, I think he's, uh, he's going to end up playing at the big, in the big leagues uh, at some point, but it, it, it also, it's, it's up to him. You know, he's a guy who's a former infielder when he first came into uh, the minors, I believe, and his arm shows off. There's a couple of games where he was, uh, I think there was a stretch of two or three games where he uh, gun dies down at the plate uh, two or three times in a row. Um, and he's just an athlete out there too. So, I mean, he's looked good at the corner spots. Um, he's got good speed out there, um, gets the balls, and he's got a good throwing arm. With a dearth of righty hitting outfielders and team speed, the Mets could desperately use a player with Juan Lagares' profile. He's still a few years away from reaching his potential, but he could help the big league club in some way not too far down the road. I'm Ted Berg, and we'll see you next time on the Mets Minor League Report.